subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hello everyone, my name is Corsina and I'm talking to you today because I just recently passed my AWS Club Practitioner exam and I would love to tell you a little bit about it, how to prepare for it, how you can successfully pass it as well and just give you a few tips, especially as a newcomer because I myself am slash was one as well. So. Well, first of all, um, I use different tools, different resources in order to prepare and I think the biggest advice I can give you on that is firstly, just try to create a great technical foundational basis of the whole cloud environment and all that's included with cloud computing, maybe a little bit containerization and all that because it will definitely help you to just is the whole process of learning the whole portfolio that all the services of AWS by heart because once you actually understand it the dots will actually connect and then the whole learning and studying will be easier because it actually makes sense so don't just focus on learning by heart but actually understand it so once you have that done I used for that actually the AWS Club Practitioner beginner course which takes around six hours it's for free and it's a mix of videos and notes you can read and watch and it's definitely interesting not that monotone is really engaging and gives you a great overview of every single service there is and the pricing models and all that around it and still explains a lot as a beginner I've, besides that i've also used um cloud practitioner practice exams from aws i mean it's not officially from aws but there is different websites that offer that. Some are free maybe, but I personally paid for one. I got it recommended from a friend who also passed the exam. And I, I must say it's pretty up to date also and really helps you to give a feeling of how the actual exam is going to be like, how um, also gives you a feeling of safety to be more comfortable and make it all work. So basically what I did use those tools. There is also one called Tutorials by Dojo, Dojo Tutorials that also gives you both practice exams if you pay for it and also the whole foundational basis of all the services so i say watch all videos get the basis take your notes study it and do practice exams practice exams practice exams and make sure before you take your actual exam to score higher than 90 percent on those exams just to be sure that you get because not every practice exam question is going to be like the real exam right so make sure you're prepared for whatever is coming, even for the tricky questions. Right? Well, to be honest, um, it's doable. It is definitely doable, and I'm pretty sure you can do it as well. It, you don't have to be an engineer or anyone who has biggest IT knowledge or cloud knowledge. I didn't myself, but it is definitely useful if you get your bases beforehand so the whole studying gets easier but um i'd say the exam itself if you're prepared well do not underestimate it but also don't overestimate it it's totally doable if you're prepared enough and then you can do it easy <laughs> be prepared i'd say it is definitely worth it why well first of all it gives you a great overview of what aws is all about so especially for non-technical people in sales or marketing even, you understand what AWS customers are going through, which benefits it has, and also which challenges they may be facing or how complicated it can be sometimes. So especially if you're working for a company who works together with those hyperscalers um, like AWS is, then it will help you to understand both the AWS side as well as the client or customer side. So you can actually be there and help them and just have an understanding. Plus, if you go through it and you read the news, the tech news, something in the cloud field, it definitely helps you to understand more as well. So yeah, definitely worth it. You'll feel smarter. <laughs> Well, the thing is, not everyone has the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, even partly people who work 
at Amazon or AWS. I mean, they don't have to because they learn it there, but still it's an indicator of your motivation and dedication to actually learn more. And it will just boost up a little bit your LinkedIn profile, your CV, and you will definitely stand out because not everyone has one and not everyone has the motivation and maybe the guts to do it because there is it's it's challenging but as i said doable so you will definitely have advantages with that plus it will ease other careers or roles you're aiming for because maybe you are already technical and now you have that insight and you can go into the next exam from AWS for the engineers that's more advanced right so it definitely gives you some opportunities you wouldn't have without it so plus if you want to do other hyperscaler exams this one is the first base let's say that kind of gives you a feeling what it's going to be like not that it's the easiest even though some people say that I don't know um definitely it is a first milestone you can try to do before going for the next steps right basically I kind of mentioned that in the beginning I myself am in sales I'm a non-technical I don't have a technical background but I work in the tech industry as well and I think when preparing for this exam what I can advise you don't stress too much just prepare early enough get the basis ready so you understand it because if you understand it learning by heart will just be a side thing so once you understand the rest will just come naturally and don't underestimate it though it's not easy peasy lemon squeezy but um, if you just do your preparation do your practice exams and make sure you really rock them I think you're gonna kill it so I have no doubt that you're capable of doing that you just gotta have a little bit motivation and dedication to do it and until then, just prepare and don't stress too much. Best of luck to everyone. I'm pretty sure you will kill it. So good luck on your exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.